President Kaplan, after your tenure at the African Development Bank, what's the bank you are handing over your, to your successor? What's your legacy? Uh, our legacy, because uh, you know, in a job like this, you have uh, thousands of people working on different issues, staff of the bank, senior management, board of directors. So it's very much our collective legacy. It's a strong financial institution, which uh, is on cause to execute its mandate quite well in my assessment, uh, which has got a focused uh, uh, operational uh, view. But now we move on to new challenges, uh, which are jobs and inclusion. Precisely that. Mm -hmm. What are the challenges your successor now faces? The, the, they are the challenges of Africa. And the challenges of Africa today are jobs, transformation, inclusion. Uh, this is 2015, the challenges of sustainable development goals. You and your colleagues are going to be in Addis Ababa next week. What, what do the MDBs have to achieve next week? What do, what do you have to deliver as MDB heads? We have to deliver a financing architecture for both the SDGs and for climate change. Uh, there'll be many approaches to the question of finance, but whichever approach it is, MDBs will be at the center of uh, both uh, catalyzing additional finance, uh, leveraging what they have, developing new instruments. So we'll be uh, at the center of uh, creating a new architecture for financing. And what makes you confident you can really succeed? Because we can't afford to fail. Uh, 2015 is an important year for humanity. What happens this year will affect humanity for a long time. And therefore, I don't think so. failure is an option. We have to work together to succeed. Thank you. China is becoming an increasingly important investor in Africa. How can your organization work best with Chinese investors? We are already uh, trying to, uh, first of all, help our Chinese uh, colleagues, investors, understand better the, the African terrain, the opportunities, how to mitigate for risks, uh, where are the opportunities, and also getting the African countries to better uh, orient uh, the investment flows. And I think uh, gradually the two parties are getting to understand how it can be done differently. The EBRD has, for the last few years, been investing in North Africa. How can the EBRD and the African Development Bank work successfully together? We are, again, uh, doing that uh, since the Deauville Partnership uh, in the fields of energy, developing private sector, climate uh, for investment. We already have a number of areas for thematic cooperation and project by project cooperation, especially in Egypt, Tunisia and uh, in Morocco. President Kabaruka, thank you very much indeed. Salut. Thank you. Merci.